वेलकम टू बनी हाशिम ब्रिगेड मे अल्लाह ग्रैंड जन्नत टू ऑल दोज हु डाइड इन द क्राइस्ट चर्च मॉस्क शूटिंग्स क्राइम्स लाइक शूटिंग्स ऑन इनोसेंट पीपल आर नो डाउट डन बाय पीपल हु डू नॉट फियर गॉड एंड डू नॉट बिलीव इन गॉड वन विद गॉड फियर विल नेवर बिकम अ साइकोपैथ लाइक दिस दीज आर मटीरियलिस्टिक पीपल हु वेन सी देयर मटीरियल वर्ल्ड इन डेंजर रिस्पॉन्ड विद सच ब्रूटल क्राइम्स here we are with another teeth biting history which shatters the foundations of the 21st century radical atheism another miracle of prophet muhammad peace be upon him and an intellectual proof of the existence of the almighty god these are just one of thousands of proofs of god's existence which should make us believe in the judgment day just like we believe at night that after waking up it's going to be morning again and critics are always welcome to try to think how such could be the history until they don't realize there is no other option except to believe that god exists who control everything this was in the year 628 ad that means 1391 years ago from now prophet muhammad peace be upon him and about 14 to 1500 of his followers dressed in ihram left madina and went to makkah to perform the umrah it was 6 years since they had left makkah and went to madina due to the oppression of the disbelievers of makkah now they wanted to come back and perform umrah but they were not allowed to enter the city of makkah by the disbelievers and they waited outside the city of makkah at a place called hudaybiya Afterwards a peace treaty took place between the kuffars of Makkah and the prophet Muhammad peace be upon him. This peace treaty is known as the Treaty of Hudaybiyah. So it's the incident that took place when 1500 Muslims were waiting at Hudaybiyah so that they can enter Makkah. It's been narrated by Salim bin Abi Ajjad. Jabir bin Abdullah said the people became very thirsty on the day of al hudaybiyah treaty a small pot containing some water was in front of the prophet and when he had finished the ablution the people rushed towards him he asked what is wrong with you they replied we have no water either for performing ablution or for drinking except what is present in front of you so he placed his hand in that pot and the water started flowing among his fingers like springs we all drank and performed ablution from it i asked jabir how many were you he replied even if we had been 100000 it would have been sufficient for us but we were 1500 this is a sahih hadith in bukhari volume 4 book 56 number 776 just imagine a man dips his hands in a pot of water and water flows from the pot and keeps flowing and flowing until 1500 people used it can the science explain such historical phenomena learned men should research on such historical facts and should find the reason behind such incidents I am sure enough that at the end their conclusion will be indeed prophet Muhammad peace be upon him is a messenger of God and indeed God exists who lets happen such miraculous incidents for the mankind to learn and choose the correct path apart from hadith books this incident which was witnessed by 1500 people spread out throughout the arab world through the speech of those eye witnesses Now this is amazing. You cannot say that all 1500 of them kept quiet while the false rumors were spread. And those 1500 were initially enemies of Islam too. They had converted to Islam and had agreed to suffer all the hardships just for the sake of God and they knew that everything in the religion of Prophet Muhammad peace be upon him was true. Such people will never support lies. Moreover, there was not a single claim of doubt about the incident raised by anyone from amongst the muslims otherwise those enemies would have caught his or her words and exposed it to everybody
so it's our request to the people of the 21st century that do not be deluded by the false informations and do your own honest research on the religion of islam worship the god who has created you to test you before it's too late and your materialistic madness crosses all the bounds leading to heinous crimes like the latest mock shootings such people who are free of god's fear lose both life this life as well as the life after death may allah guide humanity towards truth uh-huh.